Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our third video on building a keyword list using Excel. In the previous two videos, we talked about how to populate the phrase match column and the exact match column automatically uh, by just typing in a broad keyword here. So you can see what it does. Um, we described it previously, so I'm not going to get into detail here. Uh, check out the first video on how to do that. Uh, we also talked about, this was in our second video, how to add rankings or how to look up rankings pretty quickly using the Rank Checker tool by SEO Book. You can check out the second video in our series uh, for information on how to do that. And finally, in this video, we're going to talk about how to estimate the traffic using Google's traffic estimator basically get a list of how many predicted global monthly searches and local monthly searches each of these keywords are getting keep in mind that it's for broad keywords that we're going to do it um, and you can expect much less, less traffic for phrase and exact match keywords but um, it will still give you a good idea if you're looking to add broad broad match keywords to your account. People usually do it. I'm not big on it if it's less than three words. Um, but anyway, let's get started with that. Uh, what did I want to say? Oh yeah, one more thing about that. Uh, Google tends to overestimate the traffic um, in both categories. So just be wary of that when using this tool. It's just really to ballpark and give you an idea of what keywords are hot and what ones are not as far as search goes. Uh, but remember not to focus too much on uh, traffic because in the end all that matters are conversions. So anyway, let's get over, well first let's copy the broad match keywords we have. We're going to go over to Firefox. You see, I already typed in Google Traffic Estimator, but I'll do it again. And I went to googletrafficestimator.com and just clicked this link. Uh, if you have an AdWords account, you want to sign in right up here. I'm just going to pretend like I don't and have to type in this annoying, often difficult to read piece of text. Uh, before I generate the traffic estimates. So I'm going to copy and paste my words in here. If you know your budget or your client's budget, you're going to say, well, you should basically say, if you're working with a client, you should know how much they're willing to pay per click. Uh, maybe not down to the keyword level, but just in general what they think it's worth worth it as far as um, payment goes for a click. So I'm just going to say the most I'm willing to pay and I'm being pretty uh, pretty generous here to Google but I'm going to say $1.50. I'm pretty cheap um, with my max CPC but uh, especially because I go after the more long tail keywords but we'll say our max is $1.50 and daily budget $5. Okay, so it looks like it says using starting, whatever that means. And you can also have these advanced options and filters. You can, um, you can narrow it down to, yeah, down to the city. Um, but that's another lesson in itself. You can also narrow down the language. And here is uh, what I was saying before. I, I was saying I was going to search under broad match, but you, if you wanted to, um, you can choose exact or phrase if that's all you're going to be adding to your campaign, but we're going to do broad here or as entered. It's the same thing. And then we're going to hit estimate. So now you see below um, all our keywords are there and their estimated global monthly searches, local monthly searches. It also has the average CPC, estimated ad position, estimated daily clicks. 
they estimate these things based off of what we told them up here, based off of the maximum or amount we're willing to pay per click, and our daily budget. Um, I don't know how they're able to determine the estimated ad position, frankly, especially consider, considering that we haven't even written our ads yet, and they haven't even calculated our quality score, um, which is dependent on our landing page and um, our keyword and ton ton of other factors such as click-through rate. So I don't know how they're estimating this, but that's why we're not going to include it in our keyword list. So what we're going to do from here is click this little box to select everything and to download. We can download all also are selected. Okay, so we're going to hit download all format CSV for Excel. CSV. Save file. Okay. Keyword stats. Let's make it keyword stats. Nike did this before. CSV. Okay. There we go. So it's open in in Excel the way I wanted it. Okay, so we have the keywords in the same order as before. So now the columns we want are global monthly searches. If it has a dash like these four do, then it means well, I guess it means that not many people are searching for it or they just don't have enough data on it. Copy that, bring it over here, paste, and we're going to take our local monthly searches. And by all means, if you want the other columns, if you feel the other information is relevant to you, then by all means add a, another column up here. But that's all I'm going to do for now. And of course, um, you can organize this better alphabetically um, or you can organize it by rank using the sort feature um, but that's just Excel 101 and I'm not going to go over that in this video so hopefully this was helpful all three of these videos uh, if you didn't check out the other two make sure to do that so you know what I'm talking about at least with these five columns or sorry six columns right here and uh, you're on your way to developing a nice, robust, and quick keyword list uh, by using Excel. All right, thank you.